What up? This is your boy Lex with Crimson Cap Gaming, and today we are doing a Lex reacts to Lex playing, which is me, and it'll be Horizon Forbidden West on my PS5. I played this in March of 2022, and this is some of the, the footage I recorded. I haven't seen this footage yet, um, so you'll be seeing it for the first time, as will I. But anyway, let's uh, move on and let's get this show on the road and see what I was doing when I was playing Horizon in March of this year or of 2022 so let's go are you sure about that all righty it looks like that we crossed half the sundom with no more than i am on our doing a sun priest returns side quest you're better off waiting somewhere else your people or need shelter. this could There's be a, a main quest yes. we know of it who not our sure sun priest our order has made it this far thanks to his guiding but man mind. this game is gorgeous okay and where is this savoir well yeah, i'm definitely he um going to be to going ago, back and um come down and playing it a, playing it again new on home. new game plus ultra hard because I, I did finish the game um, must be at least the story the i did and there's a lot of side quests that i did not do um until he there's a lot of things i did not do um, but I got a good amount of hours in, so I'm gonna go back. Once they release a new game plus patch with Ultra Hard, I decided I was going to uh, just finish the game and then I'll come back and do the new quest or oh, new do uh, the new game Those plus on Ultra Hard. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. So it looks like right now, You're in uh, like I said, I don't know if this we is a main quest or a side quest I'm doing. It could be part of the main quest, but right now we're just, I'm trying to convince this lady to leave. Our situation, this is, I know we cannot She doesn't want to leave. But, but look at, look at, to guide us, I, but I see, this is a difference between like other, other game designers or game developers if he and PlayStation. His vision, he won't look at the quality. Let me check on him. Look at the quality they put into like the voice acting yes, and the sensible, presentation. You don't you don't get that on a lot of other games. You definitely don't get this on um, Xbox, depending on what games. At least first party or Xbox games. So, looks like I'm done. Looks like I'm done chatting with her, and we are about to. Yeah, it's a side quest, Twilight Path. Um, so it looks like we're about to get into the game instead of going through a uh, not necessarily cutscene, but it's mainly it's just like some dialogue options. Which this game has dialogue options, learning more about the the world and stuff like that. But um, looks like I'm got to try and help this lady out. Oh, uh, this game is just one is a fantastic game. I, I can't speak any and I can't speak more about this game to how good it is. You just have to play it to see it yourself. Is which is why I'm showing you this. Maybe you will play it. Um. I believe I remember correctly. You can shoot that with an arrow. I think I can shoot that with an arrow. Now that I'm looking back at the footage now, and after playing through the game, I can kind of remember some stuff, but uh, not that much. Because uh, you know, I'm playing multiple games at one time, fighting games, all kind of games, and uh, a lot of these games have stories. So I can't remember everything that's going on in all the games, but. And that's why it's a reaction. Because I'm reacting to a, a game I played that I can't remember what I was doing when I recorded this footage. So right now, we're, it looks like I'm just heading to the uh, objective marker. Akasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. I should be able to, yeah. I about to say, I should be able to climb that. And let's use one of Aloy's new weapons, or new um, tools, which is a pole caster. Which she uh, she didn't have that in the first Horizon, which allows you to pull yourself higher. Um, the one cool thing about uh, Horizon, uh, this is the second Horizon, Forbidden West, is that it's more vertical. You can do a lot more things. Um, it's not horizontal. There's more vertical stuff. And obviously, this is this is near the beginning of the game, uh, real close to it, because it's still giving out like little hints and tips. And I think they do that later on in the game as well. But I, I do know this is in the beginning, near the beginning of the game. Uh, I just picked up some dye, some more dye for uh, dyeing your gear when you get that option later on in the game. Most of the uh, 
plants that you use to dye your gear are on cliffs is uh make sure nothing's in the way but you see everything clearly yeah. just to make sure my camera wasn't in the way but um i need to find another way up some green sil or some green shine silver use i can use that to uh tr upgrade gear and trade with merchants <laughs> if needed mm, look at that. Woo! <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it would kind of be fun to be alive in this world. Um, I mean, look at all this nature out here. You don't have to worry about, I mean, you still have to worry about people, <laughs> but you know, it's different than the way the world is now. Broken bridge. I might be able to make the jump to the other side. Mm. Let's see, can I make the jump, jump? Oh yeah, I can't make the jump. Is he going? Let's examine that. He must have hurt himself pretty bad getting over the bridge. Mm. It's not looking good. Yeah, you see that much blood? Like it's not good. Trail. I can follow with my focus. Right here, this is my uh, focus, kind of like the third eye vision that a lot of games have. Um, so it's uh, it's different Stormbird. in this game. Getting closer. But you can use it to uh, mark things, and you can see the environment. If you didn't know about Horizon, it's uh, a game that takes place in the future after humanity has pretty much destroyed themselves due to trying to uh, be smarter than what they are. Um, AI. Machines. Don't want to spoil things oh, or spoil awesome. too much in regards to the first them. game because uh, the first game has a good story. If you haven't played the first game, I recommend playing the first game free hop into this one. So basically, I, I used my uh, my focus to be able to track where he was going. Which I'm gonna get some loot. Grab some more loot. And when I say loot, it's not loot in the uh, the way that loot is in other games. This loot is used for our, not for upgrading gear, putting pieces on your your um, your your outfit or whatever, putting pieces on your character not for that it's mainly for upgrading outfits that you already have or upgrading weapons whoa that water is loud see and see for a second you just saw the map like I'm just I'm barely I barely even on um, I barely opened up the rest of the map most of the map is all grayed out I'm just in the the north eastern part of this map so I haven't even made it that far in the game yet all right we got some machines here don't we we got a scrapper we got a burrower. And they are working on some stuff. Now, let's take that guy out. Mm. Let's take him out. And these machines have components on them as well. So it's good to scavenge the machines. Can you turn this around. Uh oh. I think, I think I've been hijacked. I think they found me. Is it battle time? Oh, yeah. They, oh, they, try, they try to do some battle. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Whoa. Back up, buddy. Back up, buddy. Man, they're shooting like crazy at me. All right, so now, now you get to see it. Now you get to see a little bit of battle. Let me move my camera a little bit so you can see uh, my health at the top left. There you go. Well, that may be. Let's move this over here. All right. So you get to see my health a little bit. I think I'm in the Man, my health bar is low compared to where I was when I ended the game. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Alright. So it looks like I uh, I found the person I was looking for. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. Climb back up. That was a little... Ew, that was a little janky, doesn't it? <laughs> that was a little janky. Now, uh, this right here was... I think this game came out what? In February of 2022 so this is like pre there's a lot of there's some patches that came out after um, before this I should say there's some patches that came out that fixed some stuff but look look at look at the detail in the character models you need medical attention on the way up I saw parts of the trail had given way is that how you hurt yourself my pain 
Mm. You're hurt bad. And your As... people are running out of time. Staring at this storm bird. See, one thing that I hated doing when I was playing this was skipping past dialogue. I mean, because I, I have the captions on and I can just read the captions faster than they're talking. And especially when it's a dialogue tree like this, like I'll just read it and just skip past to the next. The order. The last rays of evil. Which is, uh, it's it's good and bad because you don't get to see the character models interact and get to talk and stuff like that. Um, but it's speeding me up. Oh, I didn't notice that you can see her skin underneath her armor like that. That's pretty cool. Or some awesome shot it and hit an old tower. And if you notice. The armor I'm wearing, well, I'm not going to say that. that could be a spoiler for the first game. But if you haven't played the first game yet, I'm sorry, man. If you haven't played the first Horizon yet, like, what are you doing? Granted, some people haven't, don't, or, some people don't have a PlayStation, but this, the first Horizon came out on PlayStation 4 in, like, 2000 and, what, 17, 18-ish, somewhere around there? So you should have played it by now. I'm sorry. I'm going to avoid spoiling stuff, but I'm just saying, you probably should have paid it by now. Stormbird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. Mm. And his answer is sunstroke and a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? Mm, blind faith. She's talking about religion right now. And that's, that's kind of a problem with today's society. Blind faith. Just hoping everything's going to work out even though you're not doing anything to make it work out. And just hoping. Like... It's only so far hope can take you, but you know, what, what can you tell people? They're gonna do what they, they're gonna do what they want to do, and then screw up, and then ask for help later. But depending on who you are, you can either bend to that help, or you can help them. And if you help them, you, they're gonna continue to make mistakes over and over again. You must teach people to fish. You don't give them fish; you teach them how to fish. Y'all know the quote. Anyway, it looks like I discovered a signal tower. Uh, one of the things that I noticed early on when I was playing this game was the fact that uh, there were certain parts I couldn't get to. And I didn't know that until I went to it. And I was like, oh, I don't have this. And it's like, oh, well, why you let me access this? <laughs> or even let me get down this path. Uh, which made me not do certain things because I didn't want to waste time getting there. And then I can't open it up because I'm missing something. And that was another cool thing that added to this Horizon Forbidden West that wasn't hidden uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, which is the first game, is that if you have too many items, because you have an item capacity you can carry, you only can carry so many items. Um, but if you have, if you fill up your pouch bag, everything gets sent to your stash, which is in your base camp. Um, and camps just spread out around the uh, the world, and you can get yourself in there instead of you know leaving it on the ground or whatever. I can't remember what they did in Horizon Forbidden West if you got extra stuff. The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Talland. All right, so I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. Mm, it's like I can break through that wall. So what is this? Is this a stormbird? There, the Order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt mm. either. Oh, let's see, purple right there. Looks like some mm. kind of lens. Right there, what is purple with a bunch of lines on like that? That's telling you that you probably that's should like that. Later. It's important. So it looks like I did what I needed to do as far as this side quest goes. I just need to return back. <laughs> oh, woo! That's pretty cool, right? That animation. Funny enough, people complain about the God of War Ragnarok animations. Jumping in the ship are the same. That animation is the same as well. Like, why would you... Why would you redesign a animation when it works fine? When you can just make new animations for different different scenarios. Keep the old animations. You don't have to make them again. And you just make new animations. I don't know. People be just complaining about silly stuff. Alright, let me save real quick. I don't know what's about to happen, and let's talk to him again. Savar? Savar might be dead. Dag, I went away for what? Five, ten minutes? And he died. I guess you did the best you could. Um. Rest easy now. 
Did he do the best he could? Sure your people are safe. And that's the uh, one of the cool things about Horizon as well is that. Think of the storm, Red Heart. Is that Aloy, like the world is on her shoulders right now. She's not an Atlas. She she is designed to save this world, and she has to take on all this stuff pretty much almost almost by herself because um, not everyone has the ability that she has. As Woo! I just love this. Repel down. Yeah. Uh oh. Get out of the way. That doesn't sound too good. Uh oh. With his thugs. I know I can shoot that I know I can shoot that uh that ladder down. I know that now. I didn't know it then. Maybe it's something that I learned later, but I'm a generous gent. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy. Let's see what these guys are talking we about. Won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, ain't it just like the cards to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Mm. Hold on now, Talland. You again? Yes, me again. Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora savages or shadow cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. Um, you can try to take it if you want. What am I gonna do? I got heart, brain, and fists. You sure you wanna do that, Talon? Nah, I picked a fist. I know who I am. What makes you think a single Osiram lunkhead can take me down? I've got four guys. Huh? <laughs> uh they're like nah. They're like, they're like nah. We ain't taking. We ain't messing with Aloy. We know what she did in the first game. <laughs> nah, we leave her alone. You win. Yes. Hey, I'm doing fine. Simple. I don't need that salvage anyhow. Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes but you gotta. You know, people. put your force out there. Let people you know who you are. Get. Come on, boys. Yes. Bounce out of here now. Chain scrape. Out of here. Back to chain scrape. Drink. Yeah. Look back at me. You're lucky. Lucky. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. So, see, this you is why this this is why I want to go back and do the side quests because all these side quests like they have like good stories to them and stuff like that. So I don't want to I don't want to do the side quests after I finish the main story because I know it's hard. I like to kind of like role play when I play my games. Talk to the forge woman there, Petra. Pretend She'll like I'm actually people, the character that I'm playing as, so it Found wouldn't seem right daily. to, you know, My choice do, do the have. side quests after I finish the main quest. It's, it's kind of weird. Please accept this, but, but, modest. but I helped her out. I gave her a Stormbird heart, way. which uh, the hearts of these machines are very valuable. Uh, the chain's great, then. So if you get a heart from a machine, you can do a lot with that in this world. As far as the people in the world go, wow, she gave me a lot of stuff. Rich meat. Wow. And I gained some level up points. So right now, I am about to go... Right now, I'm in this, the skill tree section, which um, is a lot more than it was in uh, the first Horizon. There's a lot of skills you can pick from. Um, there's a trophy to max out your uh, skill, one of your skill lists. What is there? Six or six total skill trees, and you max out, max out one of the skill trees, you get a trophy for that. I didn't get that trophy. Um, I will get it when I go back to it to go to go platinum this game. So what am I? Um, I um, I'm in the infiltrator skill tree, so I'm picking things from that. I have what four skill points left to use. I'm on level eight. The highest level you can get to is uh, 50, by the way, but I'm at eight right now. I'm just trying to go through and see what what skill I'm going to pick here. Um, melee types of fire during a chance of being okay. Then I have three more points. Now, what I didn't do in the beginning of the game, which I wish I had done, was invest in those those skills that are that are like bigger, the bigger triangle skills, like the one like the one I'm out of point. It's gonna like you see it, but like the one on the left, like right here. You see my mouse like this skill? Like I wasn't I wasn't investing in those skills. I was mainly doing the small ones, which uh later on in the game I started investing in the big ones. 
the big triangle ones but I wish I had done that um, a little bit earlier in the game which would have made uh, some situations a little bit easier so right now this is just the the quest log uh, which um, Elden Ring does not have which some people love me I'm pretty sure Elden Ring is a good game I do have it on my backlog back there but uh, having a uh, skill having a quest log is great for me so I can pick what I want to do and stuff like that but we'll see how Elden Ring plays in that when I get to the game eventually so yeah there we go that was a little snippet of Horizon Forbidden West that was me doing a side quest um, once again a great game great great game um, I highly recommend if you have a PS5 or PS4 I think it was, yeah, it was released for PS4 as well um, if you have one of those I highly recommend playing it but anyway I appreciate you guys coming through I'll be back again um, this is your boy Lex with Crimson Cap Gaming and um, if you like this game drop a comment let me know how you liked it if you, if you disliked it we, what you didn't like about it you know just drop a comment and we'll have a conversation about it but anyway peace out Appreciate you watching it. I will see you, or um, you will see me in another video later. Peace out.